Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn how can you activate UiPath Test Manager. You can see I have got UiPath Test Manager here and I can access Test Manager. So how you do it step by step, I'm going to guide you. So let's get started. For this on your browser, simply type UiPath Test Manager and hit on enter. You see the site automate with test manager www.uipath.com product. Click on this particular link. So you will log into uipath.com product forward slash test manager. So once you are on this page, there is something called try test manager free. So let's click on this particular button. Now, once you click on this button, ensure, let's say if I have logged into any particular tenant, the very first thing I would recommend is to first log out, sign out from everything. And I'm going to close this. On this page, you would see already the tenants that you might have already created with your email ID. So I have got created some few tenants. But for you, in case you would like to use test manager, what you do, you can go ahead and click on create a new organization. I tried with my existing tenants, but for some reason it was not allowing me. So that's where I went ahead and clicked on create a new organization. So let us cl click on create a new organization. On this page, you can read this. UiPath Automation Cloud for Community. UiPath Automation Cloud for Community is free for personal and non-commercial use. Build a test automation with Studio. Run automations through robots that work with your application. Access automation cloud services, forum-based support. So all of these things. So we are going for a community one. What I will do, I am going to hit on continue with Google, my account. It is going to show you your account. Click on this. And now it is going to tell you, tell us a bit about yourself. So you can give your name and then you can select your country. Select your state. And then hit on next. On this page, you can give it any kind of a name. For example, this is for test manager. So I'm simply saying test manager. And then you can give some specific name automate with Rakesh and then hit on create organization. As I've already created an organization for test manager, so I'm not going to hit on create, but you can go ahead and do that in case you have not already created. After that, simply type cloud.uipath.com. Try to log into uipath, cloud.uipath.com. What would happen? It is going to show you all your existing accounts. So I had a couple of already organization created like Automate with Rakesh and also have created Test Manager Trial Automate with Rakesh. So I'm going to hit on this particular organization where I'm going to enable the Test Manager. So click on this. Now once you come here, you might see this could appear blank and you may not have a Test Manager. If you do not have a test manager, what you do, simply click on admin. Okay, all you have to do is click on admin. And once you are in the admin, go to default tenant. And here there is something called services. Click on services. You will see an option here, add services, and you can select all the required checkboxes. And after that, you would be able to find test manager because I have already done for this tenant. I'm not able to see that particular option, but you would see and here on the on the right hand side, you would have the option to check mark. So please do check the test manager. Post that you will be able to see the test manager manager appearing here. So once it is there, you can hit on launch. And here you can see I have logged into test manager. This is just an introductory video just to let you know how do you activate your test manager so that the free edition which you can access and learn test manager in detail. When you click on this, 
and you still do not see test manager then all you have to do simply refresh the page a couple of times and you should be able to see the test manager only when you have enabled the service by going to the admin page which i have shown you and after that you simply refresh it should appear so from here also you can launch the test manager by clicking on this hyperlink okay this is one of the solution which has happened with me it didn't appear even after enabling admin so if you refresh a couple of times it would definitely appear so thank you guys for watching this we are going to meet once again in our next content